Hey everyone. So I've seen that people just want me to kind of go over again how to apply an IPS patch. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that now. This is going to be a quick video just showing you how to do it, how to transfer it to the pocket. And that's, and that's pretty much it. There's not much else to the video other than the how to portion of it. So let's just get right into the video and please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. And let's continue. So one of the other things I wanted to mention was there is a limit. It's 60 games in GB Studios. So that is the limit. So here's where you can go get the homebrew titles and the IPS patches. Since the new update for the analog pocket, uh, Game Boy games are now, uh, the save is fixed. So you don't have to worry about that. So if you play the original Pokemon Red, anything that requires a save, it is now working fine. So here you can find all of the games that you can patch. And it is, it is a lot of games. So, and a lot of popular ones too at that. So today we're just going to do Donkey Kong Country, Double Dragon 2, and uh, Resident Evil. So I'm just going to go through the list that way everybody can see. You can also do ROM hacks. All the links you need will be in the description below. So everything you need from, from where to find the patches to the Luna IPS will be available. The ROM itself, you just got to have to have to get that on your own, which I'm sure everybody knows how to do that at this point. All right, so here is the Luna patch, the IPS that you're going to use to patch the ROMs. It's fairly simple. You download it. And you and that's it. So let's uh, let's patch some games and let's transfer it over. So I already had everything on the desktop. So we're just going to go to the folder. Let's open up the Luna application. And let's hit apply patch. It's very simple. So now you got to find where the patches are first. So here we are. Let's do Donkey Kong Country first since it's right there. And you got to find the location where the ROM is. So there it is, Donkey Kong Country. Okay. Now we do the same thing for the next one, Double Dragon. Double Dragon. And let's do the last one, Resident Evil. Okay, that's it. You have uh, patched it. So it's very simple. So now we go to the next step, which is you find the location where the ROMs were patched and you change the extension to Pocket. You gotta do it for each one that you patch. It's the only way the analog pocket is gonna recognize it. Okay, and let's do one, the last one. All right, so now let's go to the SD card. Just put it side by side. Okay, and see that's the, that's the root. Now let's go to GB Studios and just copy it over. That's it. Let's go to the pocket. All right, so now we're back on the analog pocket. The SD card is in, there's no cartridge. Let's test it out and make sure all three games that we just patched are working fine. Tools, UV Studio, let's go with Double Dragon first. There we go. Yep. Yep. Yep, things work just fine. So let's go to the next one. Now do keep in mind there is still that 60 game limit. 60 game is still a lot to have right off the SD card, so don't foresee people having too many too much issue. You can hold off and with 60 games until you get the actual jailbreak. Okay, now let's go to the last game to test. It's gonna be Resident Evil. There we go. Okay, there we go. As you can see, it works. This is how you patch it. So I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, subscribe. Thank you very much. Go have fun with your analog pocket now.